It's been two years since the terror group Boko Haram abducted 276 Nigerian schoolgirls, and now a new video is offering a glimmer of hope for their families. This footage allegedly shows several girls identifying themselves as the kidnapped students. Some parents have been able to spot their daughters as well. Unbelievable. The video was apparently shot in December and sent to the Nigerian government. It's the first time the girls have been seen since 2014. You may remember the kidnapping sparking outrage online with the hashtag bring back our girls. Some girls have managed to escape, but more than 200 are still being held captive. And Vlad, we know you, you've been there. Take us through sort of from the beginning how this has happened. This is a horrific story. I was based in Nigeria for almost three years uh, for another network, CNN. And uh, in the middle of the night, these young schoolgirls who were at school in northeastern Nigeria, which is one of the least educated regions of the country. So it's an Im Im important it's an important thing to consider that these girls were in school. Right. Uh, in the middle of the night, Boko Haram uh, came to the school and abducted these girls in trucks and drove them away. And uh, this, when we heard the story, we couldn't believe it because that number of children taken for parents who just want a better life for their kids, who right. just want their daughters to be educated, to be taken in the middle of the night, uh, was something astounding. And uh, we started asking the government a lot of questions and they couldn't answer them. And why has it been so difficult for the government to locate the girls? There are a couple of reasons. One, uh, the area where the girls were supposedly taken is the uh, Sambisa Forest, which is a very heavily po uh, vegetated area that the Nigerian military had a difficult time um, uh, tracking them through. The other issue is the Nigerian military just doesn't have the capability and the staff and the weapons. Right. Uh, Boko Haram comes in some cases with anti-aircraft weapons, with weapons that people say that they might have actually stolen from the Nigerian military. And finally, Dana, there's sometimes, you know, you, the reality, at least then it's changed now there's a new presidential administration um, running the country but back then there seemed to be a lack of political will to get these girls out of uh, the grips of Boko Haram. And you and I were talking about that off air earlier about that idea and the story sort of fades from especially here in the U.S. the headlines right. maybe but there are parents that on a daily basis are sort of sitting vigil and are there reminding the government. They are there are parents that are every day sitting in front of the presidential palace and remember this Dana we talk a lot about uh, the what happened in here in the United States for 9-11, in Paris, in Belgium, in Pakistan, all these other countries where terrorism strikes. Imagine, if you will, a country where 20,000 people have been killed in the last five years, 1.5 million people displaced. That's a 9-11 every single right. year. And the outrage is, is lacking from world leaders. Nigeria is a significant trading partner of the United States. We sometimes, depending on the year, it is the fifth largest oil exporter to the United States. Um, and if you can, one person once said to me, Vlad, President Obama went to Boston when three people died during the terrorist attacks at the Boston Marathon. We've never seen, this is now the former president of Nigeria, he's never come to talk to us, he's never come to see us. We lose hundreds of people every day. Very different story there than what we see here in the U.S., certainly.